So I arrived in Bali already 12 years ago. I came here like everybody. I came for holiday. Uh, it was a family trip actually. So we came, I came from France. Uh, it was my first time in Asia. So we come, we were five of us. It was January 2008. Uh, Bali was a very different place for me. It was, uh, first of all, a lot of people are smiling. So if we compare to our country, uh, it's a big difference. And to be honest, the first time I arrived, I, as soon as we land, I really fell in love with the place. So what happened is uh, it was January and uh, we had a wonderful time and holiday. And I came back two, three months later. I came back in April 2008. And somehow we managed to buy a land. Don't ask me why and how, but we bought a land in Seminyak because at that time Seminyak was the hip, hip place. And we decided to build uh, villas. When I say with me and my father, and two, three years later, 11 villas already finished. Uh, I managed to be quite successful in this field. And by mistake, I opened a restaurant. It didn't work. So 2013, 2014, I moved back to this real estate uh, field. And from there, I realized that, first of all, it's a good business. And second of all, we were quite good at it. So we, build, we continue to build some villas until 2017 when I decided to, to, to make something more meaningful because we were only building individual villas, which was good, but I wanted to make something with, uh, with a concept behind. We were thinking that the fact to have a place with all the villas, all together with all the facilities, can be a very good compromise for the people who want to live here or to invest here. So we ended up building 30 villas in the middle of uh, Ubud. So we selected Ubud because Ubud is the capital of uh, the culture in Bali. And the green, the scenery of uh, this place is quite uh, amazing. And we ended up creating villas and, uh, and facilities as a restaurant, a pool club, a spa, completely integrated in the, um, in the nature. So from there now we are still building right now, we are in the uh, end of 2020. The villas are finished, we are still building the facilities. Facilities will be, all, will be finished next year, let's say between April and September, because we have many. And as soon as uh, those facilities will be open, we will really try to make this place uh, memorable and unique. Something interesting happened, you know, between this uh, pandemic time. So, we started this project in 2018, so it took us a year to, to, to find the best uh, compromise, if I may say. And in 2019, we started to build. And this pandemic arrived a year later, and uh, it really, of course, affected us. Uh, we were lucky enough that we sold quite a lot of, uh, a large amount of the villas. So we have 30 villas, uh, most of them are sold, so we managed to not uh, stop the project. And something interesting happened is because of this pandemic, uh, Bali, Bali is completely empty. So of course, uh, for the tourism and for, for us, because when we, we build those villas, we want to rent those, uh, those villas on a daily basis to the tourists. If there is no tourist, it's quite difficult to rent. So it shows us, or we learn something during this pandemic, is that there is a new kind of tourist who are coming big time in Bali which are the digital nomads. So what happened is since uh, most of the country are locked down and now we are end of 2020, uh, it's winter in, uh, in some part of the world, the people are thinking to come and live in Bali and work in Bali in the same time. So we realize that this kind of environment, those villas in the nature, fully serviced, is a perfect match for those people who are coming from Europe or America and wants to come and live in a place where it's safe, where they can work and where everything is available. So now we are really focusing beside the tourism because the tourism will take some time to, to come back. We all know this. So now we really take this, uh, this opportunity to bring those digital nomads from everywhere all around the world to our place. The concept is a villa fully serviced. What does it mean? It means that 
you have many hotels all around the world. You have also so villas, what so called service villa. But in Ubud, for instance, we are the only place working as an hotel, but you are staying in a villas. So what does it mean at the end is for a similar price, for the price of a hotel room that you can get somewhere else in Ubud, a very nice hotel, you will also you will pay the same amount of money and stay in the full I mean in a villa fully serviced. So you have your own pool, you will have two, three or four bedrooms for yourself, for your family, or for your group of friends. So if we talk about the demography of Cake Club is it will be between 25 to 55. And they, the fact that we have two bedroom or four bedroom will attract different kind of people. So two bedroom might attract couple with kids or two couple and a four bedroom will attract large group of friends or big family so the, the luck we have in our project right now is the fact that we have this variety of villas attracts a large a large crowd of people and besides the pandemic is uh, we will also have this uh, glamping tents which it will be only one bedroom which will be focused only for couples